Unraveling Ambiguity, Making Clear Conversation in English. Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to delve into an important aspect of conversational English, understanding and recognizing ambiguous questions, and most importantly, how to respond with clarification. So, buckle up and let's jump right into it. Firstly, let's talk about what ambiguity means. Ambiguity arises in language when something can be understood in more than one way. This often happens because of the way the sentence is structured, the words used, or even the lack of context. Let's see an example. Example. Did you see the man with the telescope? Here, ambiguity arises because this sentence could mean either. 1. Did you use a telescope to see the man? 2. Did you see the man who had a telescope? Both interpretations are correct, and it's this uncertainty that leads to ambiguity. Now, let's move on to recognizing ambiguous questions. This skill is important because recognizing an ambiguous question is the first step to answering it appropriately and avoiding confusion. Let's look at a question. Can you lift the box in the corner? This question could mean, 1. Are you physically able to lift the box in the corner? Question about ability. 2. Can you lift the box that is currently located in the corner? Request for action. Recognizing ambiguity involves being aware of the different possible meanings a question can have. The key is to pay close attention to the words used and their possible interpretations. So, how do you respond to an ambiguous question? The best way is to answer with clarification. This involves 1. Identifying the ambiguity in the question. 2. Asking for clarification before providing an answer. Let's revisit our previous example. Can you lift the box in the corner? If you're unsure about the meaning of the question, you could respond with, Do you mean am I able to lift the box? Or are you asking me to move it? This way, the person asking the question can clarify what they mean, and you can provide a more accurate answer. And there you have it. By recognizing ambiguous questions and responding with clarification, you can ensure clear, effective communication in English. Remember, it's okay to ask for clarification when needed. After all, the goal of conversation is understanding. Keep practicing, and you'll master this skill in no time. Happy learning!